Yes. And what do you have? Sare C Q Q. चलिए Start with this. 
Forget about sum. Take a throw the sum away. So you will have Livishvita symbol I J K partial I and then Jth component of del cross F like previously. Okay? This is equal to epsilon i j k partial i. So g f cross g i hmm? f cross g i. f cross g i. Ah, f cross g i. Right. Okay? f cross g i. Partial i. And now what we should do? Now let's apply. What would be the jth component of this? So you, you, you will need new symbol sets because you already have used i, j, k. So let's call, first of all, epsilon, p, q, since this is j, so you're going to need j here. Okay? And f, p, g, q, e, k. And then, you know, this guy is a number, so you can pull this out. I, J, K, P, Q, J, and then partial I of these guys. So what will happen? What is F, P, and G, Q? So the scalar... So these are scalar fields, so you are computing the i the derivative of it. Yes. So this would be a product rule situation. So partial I, F, P, Okay, G Q plus partial I uh, okay. F P partial I G Q and E K. Okay. So what do you think? What should be the next thing? This becomes you know we need two more terms. So the two terms are coming from the product rule. And if I use a contraction identity here, so these will become two terms actually. Yes. And hence you get the four terms. Okay? Yes. Question. Can I apply a contraction identity here now? No. no. I have to do the same trick. So you need to do a minus thing stuff. Okay. The same thing that you did there. So you need to change the sign of See, once you really are comfortable with the defect, you know, live with it. So what should I do? So minus I K J and epsilon P Q J and this partial I and maybe G Q partial I F P plus F P partial I G Q. Huh? And then EK as well. And I can apply contraction identity here. So I'll write the second term first and this first term afterwards because so that I can compensate for this minus. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to get? Delta IQ, delta KP minus delta IP and delta. ठीक है जी। तो G Q partial I F P मैं मिला कि E K है सब्जेक्टली F P partial I G Q and E K ठीक है। तो नाम करना बहुत डायरेक्ट ना। ठीक है और मैं वो दिल। So let's multiply this term with this term. And after simplification, tell me what will happen. So I have delta I Q multiplied with G Q. So this will become G I. Okay. And delta K P multiplied with say E K. Okay. F P. F P. But F P is के अंदर है. अगर कर भी सकते हैं मिनी फ्यूविश, फ्यूविश यू कैन डू इट, सो डेल्टा केपी विल बिकम व्हाट? एसके, 
पार्शल आई एफ ठीक है एंड ई के ठीक हो गया प्लस और माइनस वट एवर प्लस सो वेन दिस टर्म विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड विद दिस वट विल है So I Q will get rid of I Q here, and K P will make it a K P. So this will become F K. Okay. Partial I and G Q will become G I. Okay. That's what the del dot G is. And Minus so delta I P will become delta P F P as a delta I P F I P. Then delta H T. Okay. Okay. So let's let's have delta K Q G Q will become. So this will become G K. Delta I P will become what? Partial I and let's keep it F I. So I was writing P before, doesn't matter. Okay. And E K minus F I. So F I. So F I and partial I. G K and E K. Just look at every term carefully. You have got all four terms. Okay. So what is first term now? Think about it. So delta dot G F G G F should be what? Del I G I times F vector. So that's F K E K something like that. So do I have a term like that? So we have this second number. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's let's write it separately. So what this will become? What do you think? So this G I, you know, partial I is like you know you have this G dot del, and F K E K is like your F. Plus, what is this? So partial I G I is like del dot G, and F K E K is like F minus partial I F I is like del dot F, G K E K is like G. And the last term is uh, F I del I is like F dot del and G K E K is like G. There you go. So there you are. So it's fun, really fun to prove such kind of identities. And then you want to do things, okay? वो भी करो लेकिन जस्ट गेट रेड ऑफ़ द समेशन बिकॉज़ अब तक जितनी भी आइडेंटिटीज़ हो प्रूव किए इन हाउ मेनी आइडेंटिटीज़ वी हैव यूज्ड सम आगे सो वी वी हैव यूज्ड दैट देयर इज़ अ सम ऑन इच इंडेक्स ओके बट यू नो वी डोंट नीड इट इनसाइड इट सो देवर फॉर नॉट पुटिंग इट he introduced what you call the Einstein summation convention actually. Okay, so since we don't need, so you just have to keep if any index repeating two times in an expression, that means you have a sum over it. Okay, and if any index repeating only once, so so there is no sum over it. So it's like a fixed identity, and if any index repeats three times, that means 
you are fooling yourself somewhere actually. Because you shouldn't have three index in an expression. Okay? So there, there is something wrong, you have got, you know, Pagal you know. <laughs> so there is no. <laughs> so in, in, in all of these expressions, you can see you will nowhere find you know more than three index. For example, if you if you see this in this expression, how many indices are there? So two and i. So there is a sum on i and k in this time as well. Okay. For example, I was writing delta i j and a i. Remember? So in this expression, i comes two times and j comes one time. So there is a sum on i but not on j. Okay. So therefore, it becomes only j. So there are lots of identities for you to have fun and, uh, and prove them all. Prove them all. Find a list of identities. Okay, and prove them all through what we call this dimension. There is also another identity which is as an example. I mean, if you wish, I can go through it. Otherwise, you can go through it for yourself. It's not difficult. Okay, it's a very simple, straightforward identity which simply says that compute this del cross f dot any vector a cross b. Okay? It's really a simple identity. So you can go through this proof as well. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Because we are almost done with this chapter as well. So there are some problems on this factor.